What's up, everybody? Um, today is Sunday, I guess, for the people that follow me in Germany, which is most of my uh, follower base. Uh, it's probably about like nine o'clock in Germany, but I'm making this video because I do have a lot of people that follow me and I've had conversations via Discord, you know, people in real life and stuff like that um, that I work with or, you know, friends back home. And um, it seems like there's this stigma going on that, you know, we're uh, of putting limits on ourselves. You know, I feel like everybody has like, you know, goals and stuff like they feel like are unachievable and they're kind of just like, I don't know, like they can't, they give up on it because they feel like they're either they're too old, they don't have the skill set, this, that, the third. And I wanted to kind of um, at least no, I can't, I can't say motivate, but at least try to uh, maybe change your mind a little bit about a few things and give you some of my own experiences and um, pretty much why I do what I do. All right. So we'll start off with one big thing, right? A lot of people set like, you know, far reaching goals and shit. Like they want to be actors or musicians or um, they, they want to be like a, an astronaut or whatever. And I know like you've heard this, the whole thing before, like you have to like, you know, um, either go to school and da da da, or you have to have a certain skill set to do some of those things, which is true, but it's not impossible to get those things done. Um, I think we're told too often by people who want to keep us in place that it's not achievable. It's impossible. Um, the credentials are too high. The statistics are, you know, stacked against you. But I actually realized the reason why the, <laughs> the one, one major reason why statistics, statistics are very low for success rate is simply because the people who are successful just continue trying, you know, a part of the process of accomplishing what you want in life is failing. And I feel like um, everyone that follows me and stuff like that has been told most, if not all of their life, that failure is a bad thing. And I want to let you guys know failure is what you need to move forward. You know, um, I, I always use this channel as an example because I want you guys to see where we are now, where we were three years ago and where we are going to be three years in the future. You know, um, I never had, uh, you know, this many subscribers before um ever in the past like i never had this and i and I, I envisioned myself you know being where i am right now uh just relentlessly posting i mean a lot of people would tell me too i post too much or um you know the way i'm going about the process is is um is, is too unorthodox people aren't going to vibe with it um a lot of people told me that this wouldn't work out altogether, and it has despite all of those things and the only thing that had my back the entire time was my way of thinking you know just continue doing continue continue trying, continue failing until something catches and then work that until it doesn't work anymore and then find something else and keep pushing. You know, um, I feel like, you know, I don't know. It's, it saddens me when I see someone's potential. Imagine this, right? We don't have very much longer to live on this planet. Like meaning like I'm not saying a few days or whatever. We, first off, we don't know how long we're going to live. Second off, the lifespan of the average human isn't super long. I mean, tops, we're getting kind of close to a hundred and a hundred years is not a whole lot in the grand scheme of life. You know what I mean? So imagine looking back and regretting not doing something you were incredibly passionate about um, when you were younger. And I, I, I really want people um, who watch me to really internalize that. Like, hey, listen, like no, no matter what it is, no matter what age you are, um, you can get it done. You can get it done. In fact, I feel like slowly but surely more people are catching on to that and they're chasing their dream. Now, I am going to say this. There's going to be a lot of risk. It is going to be incredibly uncomfortable and you're going to feel like giving up and you're probably going to seek validation. And that kind of leads me into my next point, which is be careful who you tell your, your goals to your, your goals and your dreams to, because a lot of people have been shot down figuratively speaking, when it comes to voicing their goals. A lot of times when we tell our parents or people that we're very close to what our plans are for the future, they're not going to see where we're coming from. So it's going to come off as crazy or impossible or a pipe dream in a way. And so they're going to do everything in their power to talk you out of it. And you can't blame them because you were planted 
the seed inside of your mind as far as where you're going to be five, six, seven years from now, your parents don't have that same vision. Like they, the same seed wasn't planted in their brain. They have a different idea of where you want to be, you know? And it sucks when I see people who are super talented or who want to do things just limit themselves because someone else told them they couldn't do it. So I decided to make this video to let you guys know, guys, literally anything you do is impossible. Anything you do is possible. <laughs> what did I say? impossible anything you do is possible or any goal you set is very possible to achieve it, it, it literally just takes effort that's it like relentless effort and you're going expect to fail that's the biggest thing i don't think a lot of people say that enough expect to fail at whatever it is you want to do the thing is it's like achieving success in general is like it's in a giant journey and it's the same journey no matter what you do figuratively speaking right if we take a general template you try you try you try you fail you fail you fail your confidence gets cut um your self-esteem is shot and then whatever the end goal is it's still waiting for you right and and it and you're weeding out or that that successful end point is weeding out all the people who aren't mentally strong enough to make it to that point and all it takes is just effort. And you don't have to be good at what you're doing. You just have to enjoy what you're doing. And eventually you'll succeed because um, there will be a window of opportunity eventually because you're doing it so long. And you can only get better the more you fail, right? The more you try and fail, the more you try and fail. You learn from your previous mistake and it'll get to the point where you are an expert. No one starts off being good at whatever it is they do. So if you guys are out there making music and you want to be the best artist alive, um, if you guys are out there and want to be like um, big youtube stars or tiktok stars or i don't know you want to be like a, a, a doctor or a lawyer or whatever it is you can do that and you will do it if you can internalize your your goal for yourself and you just keep trying i know this sounds like a very cringe video but i feel like a lot of people need to hear that um especially from someone they watch regularly and stuff you know because i feel like that's not emphasized enough i see far too often um people on social media portraying these unrealistic uh you know or actually not even unrealistic but I guess I, I should say unrealistic uh, uh, depictions of what you're actually supposed to do to attain success, which pretty much is like, oh, you either have it or you don't and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, you can do literally anything like you can do literally anything. What's unrealistic is trying to um, is it, believing that other people will always have your back. You know, what's more realistic is knowing that you have your back and that's all that matters, you know. So um I know it's a it's an interesting video. I don't normally do videos like this, but I figured, hey, it's Sunday. I know everybody's relaxing and chilling, and hopefully, someone out there internalizes this and you know uses it as motivation. And I guess a final example um, I have it's all kind of pertaining to to um, what I'm doing now. You know, uh, I. I wanted to be a comic book artist when I got older, around this age. I wanted, I wanted to, I, since I was like a little kid, I wanted to be a comic book artist. And my friends have always told me like, wow, like you're really good at drawing. I, I literally just said this in a video I made yesterday. Um, but as I got older, I, I kind of got burnt out and then a little bit discouraged too, because there are always people who are going to be better than us out there, right? Like there's people who are gonna be better at us no matter what happens, crack turns, whatever. The difference is how you go about your approach to exposing what you're doing you know so um recently i'm like you know what let me tap back into to drawing again because i feel like i do a decent job doing what i do and it's been very well received and i'm i want to thank you guys for that but i also want people to see that you can do whatever you put your mind to and um i'm i'm trying to use my platform to inspire you guys to do whatever it is that you have set out for yourselves and uh to try to promote people that i see are like making a, a concerted effort to to do what they're doing and of course i have to like really vibe with it too but you know if i see that i'm like dang like hopefully i can give them the push that they need to like you know go in the right direction so that's pretty much it i know it's a random rant video about um whatever you know, basically trying to re-motivate people out there that are kind of down in the dumps, especially the people who are living with, you know, their parents that, and their parents are just shooting their, their stuff down. Or maybe like you have a friend group that's toxic when it comes to telling them goals you have for yourself. Or maybe it could even be a partner that you're with right now that doesn't see where you're going to be in the future. Your, your, your dream, your end goal is going to happen as long as you don't stop.
it, it the, the 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 train stops when you stop that's it you don't need anybody else's support it would be nice it would be helpful and it would feel a lot better but just know that you are the engine in your train so just don't stop and you'll get to where you're going um, that's pretty much it guys i know uh i was supposed to drop like a video of me learning some german or something or a reaction video but this is pretty much what i have you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below what hardships have you encountered when you can when you had goals for yourself um or were there ever times where people like you know belittled you or told you you couldn't do something because of xyz let me know in the comments down below i'd love to open up a conversation because i really want to get to know you guys a lot more so um, that's pretty much it love you guys and take care peace